ओम नमो भगवते मुत्थ कृष्णाय मुत्थ कृष्ण हंसाय विमहे परम हंसाय धीमहे धनो हंस प्रचोदया नमस्कार टू ऑल नाइस टू बी विथ ऑल अगेन दिस इज अ कंटिन्युएशन ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो ब्लॉग ऑन अबाउट द नीड टू प्रोटेक्ट खाउस इट्स अबाउट आवर लाइफ हियर एंड आफ्टर This started with a sad song I was with my guru about 33 years ago where he mentioned that even if you don't attend weddings you all must attend funerals it's very important go there stand beside the departed person and the the body and recite a few mantras on his behalf and then come back home and have a bath don't have to sit and chat and all those things those are of no value to anybody but you must go there say a few prayers on behalf of the departed soul and then come back home and have your bath and get on with your life it's very important he said it's more it's beneficial for you and for the soul who has departed then he went on to say that in the days old thousand years ago the emperors of india used to have a ashwamedha yagna it's a fire ceremony where the rishis vedic rishis and sanskrit scholars and brahmins used to sit around a large fire built with cow cow dung biscuits and wood and into that they of a ghee in addition to other herbs and other medicinal plants uh, reciting the vedic mantras this is done for about a week at least and it goes on it's a big ceremony where all the other kings are invited and this can be done only by an emperor who has conquered the other countries because he has the wealth to do it because at the end of the conclusion of the yagna the the brahmins and the rishis are given cows hundreds of cows land gold and even his citizens are given a lot of money and other things to make them happy and prosperous so this can be done only by an emperor who has the resources to do it not an ordinary king and what does it give in return prosperity the land becomes much more prosperous the the five elements the rain falls on time and the regulated amount the winds are Uh, smooth and soft and no storms the seeds are uh, satisfied and quiet there are no earthquakes no um, natural calamities and disasters so the whole land is people they are peaceful and the people live peacefully happily so the the wealth of the land increases and in addition to that it confers benefits to the the person who is doing it a longevity to the emperor and uh, comfort and uh, wealth for the subjects both in this life and the after so it's such a beneficial thing this ashwamedha yagna the emperor will do it now he said you all are not emperors but you all can still do it by a simple method and he told us this method that is if there is a body unclaimed human body where the soul has departed and there was nobody to do the last rites for or the funeral do it for the body take the body do the all the right according to the religion to which that person belong to and then do the last rites and either cremate or bury and you will have the same benefits accrued after doing an ashwamedha yagna okay so i we really heard about all this and i that was the evening and i returned home at about 9 pm as i entered the house the tv was on and the cnn program was going on there i saw a, a gentleman in pakistan he was going about in his van collecting the bodies of dead unclaimed beggars on the road and he t- took them to his place and there they showed the place which is a long hall with a lot of marble tables like in a mortuary 
and he placed the bodies on the table, gave them a good bath, cleaned them, dressed them, and did the last rites according to the Islamic rites, because they were all from that country, belonged to the same, that religion, and he did that for those beggars. Now, the second video, now he chose this video where he does it, and his family, his wife and children take part, uh, help him in the process, and he did it. Now, the second part of the video showed a big hospital, uh, 300 bed, all amenities, facilities were there, first class hospital, which was run by him, totally free to the public. And he built this because of the donation that kept pouring. The donations kept pouring from, mostly from unknown quarters, because of the good deed he was doing. It kept, kept coming, that, and that's what this uh, karma, this action does, brings you benefit and immense wealth. And he did this, and I checked him up again recently, about two months ago, and the organization is still practicing it, and he has expanded to all the other cities in Pakistan, from Lahore to Rawalpindi and everybody, all other places. And he also has other am amenities done for the people, like having midday meals for children, free schools for children, and so on, and outpatient clinics and so on. He has also expanded this and has branches in the United States and the United Kingdom. It is very satisfying to see how this organization has grown. And I'm also pleased to note that on the same uh, internet, I found that there were similar organizations doing it in South India too. So, the people, the soul, departed soul benefits, and also the people who do it benefit. It's a win-win situation. So, if ever you have an opportunity, please do it. And if you have no opportunity, at least go and help somebody attend the funeral, help somebody who is not financially sound to do the last rites. So if not monetarily, at least physically you can do all the help. So this is very, very useful action we can do in this life. Now, this is relevant in this current days because in the past we had wars going on and now we have the third world war going on. The deaths are occurring not in the battlefield but in the hospitals. And a lot of these bodies are disposed of without the last rites being performed because they were not given the bodies. So now these souls of, whose last rites had not been done roam because they even don't know that they lost the body and they are roaming around without a body. And same with the war situation where they didn't even know that they were killed. They still think that they were in the, bo in the body. So these, uh, uh, what do you call, souls which had not been, ha not had the last rites have confused with no clarity and they enter the bodies of weak people and start playing havoc. And this is one of the reasons that there are a lot of problems in all these countries. So, if somebody can organize themselves and organize a group of people and do the last rites, knowing the name of the person and his religion, and do it in that, according to that religion, it will help all these souls to get clarity and start progress in their path of the life cycles. And it will help the country immensely because there will be more peace. So I hope I have conveyed my message that there, there are two ways that we can help the soul and ourselves. First is to save a cow in the person's name. Two, do the last rites or at least help in the last rites of the departed soul. Thank you for the kind listening. I hope my message has been conveyed and please pass it on to all the people you know. God bless you all. Thank you.